All right, so the next thing we want to think about here, and I think this is really important, is how the, the right arm actually is, is actually moving while you're picking, okay? So we've got our arm in this kind of 45 degree angle position that we, that we discussed, and whether you're holding the guitar like this or holding the guitar like this, this, this these techniques will still apply. So when we look at the right arm movement, okay, so th this is where you, you know, we talked about the right arm position and how that's fairly consistent across the board with most, most great pickers out there. Now, we're going to get into an area here that is much more subjective. So it's, it, it's much more specific to the actual player. And that is the movement of the right arm. If we take an extreme example, for example, Doc Watson, you'll notice that he has a lot of right arm movement from the elbow when he's picking, okay? So the wrist is fairly static and he's got, he's got his right arm and his elbow kind of doing, doing the work. What that does is it makes it, it 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 allows you to use the large muscles of your arm to move the pick up and down as opposed to the smaller muscles which will get worn out faster. So if you're if you're kind of if you're trying to be really precise with the little tiny muscles in your wrist and your fingers, you're gonna get you're gonna get fatigue, kind of muscle fatigue, because those muscles are smaller and they have less sort of capacity to you know, absorb, you know, really precise motion for a long period of time. Although that's something you can work on is getting those smaller muscles activated more. But one thing I've been working on to, to kind of reduce fatigue in my arm when I'm playing really fast for a really long period of time is really focusing on moving the pick with the large muscles of my arm. So right here, using kind of your upper arm muscles and then here using more of the forearm and, and sort of less of the wrist is involved in this 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 kind of picking and what that's going to do for you is it, especially when you work on it if it's not something you're used to it's going to feel weird at first and then you're going to want to practice it and try to build that muscle memory and what you'll... all right so let's just do a simple exercise here to the metronome we're going to play eighth notes and so the main thing you want to work on here with this exercise is really activating and using these larger muscles to move the pick up and down. And we're just looking at the total basics here, okay? So we're just gonna look at one note, an open G, and we're gonna start here with eighth notes. So focus on those large muscles and also focus on really a, a, an even attack. An attack is, is kind of the term that's used to, to um, describe the, the way that the pick interacts with the string. So it's kind of where the rubber meets the road. And we're also going to work on a nice even attack. So each note is kind of the same volume and you're kind of striking the string with an even velocity. So that's the main thing we're going to try to work on here with this exercise is activating the large muscles of your picking arm and a nice even smooth attack on the string. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So that's just a really basic example of a good starting point for kind of building a smooth, fluid technique with your picking. So in case you don't already know, when we talk about eighth notes, if we look at a measure, and the measure is in 4-4, four, four, which means there's four beats to a measure, and the quarter note gets the beat, in this case the metronome, then an eighth note, you're going to have two notes for every quarter note. And a lot of times in really fast bluegrass picking, you're, you're going to be playing 16th notes, depending on how the chart is written, but... And in, in the way I look at it is, you know, if you have a, a measure of four, a four, four measure, then, you know, most of the really kind of fast picking out there can be represented by 16th notes. So let's try to increase the velocity a little bit 
And we're gonna to go to 16th notes here. So we're going to set the metronome to 70 BPMs, the same tempo that we had before, but this time we're gonna kind of, we're gonna be picking faster, okay? And you wanna, again, the same thing we did with the eighth notes there, you really wanna think about activating the large muscles in your arm, and then also really trying to create a smooth, consistent attack on the strings. And when you combine those two techniques, if you work on those two things together, just about in any context, whether it's a song that you're learning or whether you're just doing these really simple one string exercises, as long as you really keep that in mind with your right arm, your picking arm, you can build muscle memory, which will help you acquire that smooth attack and, that, and to be able to play at a faster tempo for a longer period of time. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four.